what I'll do is I can just do a little quick copy and paste here so I get it right so I'll say crypto map Oop. and then I'll just paste it in here I, I'm kind of lazy sometimes I, I don't type everything out so there now we've got route we got the first router done next thing it is we need to go back to the other router and and configure it you also notice that the uh, ISA KMP was enabled so control Z let's do a show run real quick to verify our settings Oop. for this router now as we go through here you can see our, our policy our encryption is AES authentication per key with a group 2 now our transform sets um, our map and then of course uh, it's going to be applied to the interface right here so I'll just write this now let's go over to router B and what we're going to do is configure it so go ahead and get in the enable mode we'll set here and again we're going to conf um, configure our phase one policy so it'll be crypto uh, ISA KMP uh, policy one remember we're going to try and keep mirror or exact settings on both sides so now we're going to go authentication remember pre-share next thing we're going to do again define our hash remember we use the uh, SHA hash next thing we're going to do is the encryption and our encryption was set to AES 128 Next part of here, we're going to define our Diffie Diffie Hellman, which we use Group Two. Remember, we want to make sure we use our defining policies. Our lifetime, we want to set it again to match the same thing that we did for Router A. Uh, now we'll come in there and we'll create. Our, we'll type exit, and now we'll, let's create our uh, key, our pre-shared key. So we'll go crypto. Um, key, oh, excuse me, ISA, KMP, key, Cisco, address, now again, we'll verify our address, we're going from B to A, so I'm going to define this address right here. That'd be the pure router interface. Hit enter. Now, next thing we got to do is uh, uh, configure our phase two ICA configuration. So we'll go in here now. We'll say um, create a transform set. And again, we'll use a uh, ESP. AES and then uh, ESP SHA uh -oh. says we're missing a proposed ESP missing cipher now what do we go wrong in here so we'll go back through and we'll, we'll come back and fix this here in a second so now again we'll, t we'll create our access list Ah, transfer sent. I see what I've done here. I've got, I forgot to define my set name. So we'll go in there and call it my set. Now we got a good command. Again, I forgot to give it a set name. From there, we'll create access. We'll type it out here. We'll do an access list. Again, I'm just going to use 101 permit. IP traffic now again it's going to be sourced from 10.0.0.1.0 and then we'll just use a default uh, inverted mask destination 192.168.1.0 with a zero in there now next thing I gotta do is continue on with the uh, phase 2 configuration 
which would be uh, create a crypto map. Now we'll go crypto map. Uh, again, I'm going to say from router. Oh, router underscore B. to router A. Again, just the opposite of what I created on the other one. The other one was router A to B. This, this is going to be router B to A. Now from here, I'll just sit there and define it as my IP set ISKA. You, we got a problem here. Oh, forgot to I forgot to give it a number. So I got to tell it what policy number. So we define this as policy 10 because I can have multiple policies on my router. Now this crypto map will be disabled until a peer and invalid set has been created. Good. Now I'm going to set my peer. Again, we're going to make sure that we get a valid peer. It's going from here from router B to router A. So we're going to use the 172 16.1.1 address. So we'll sit there and, and, and the rest of this command would be an IP address, 172.16.1.1. Now again, I must match my access list. So I'll do match addresses, 101. Now I need to set my transform, define it to the transform set. So transform set, and we use my set. Now the last part of this will be to uh, apply it to a router interface. So we're going to again, we'll go to this router's interface that's on the serial, which is iron. On the serial interface, from here, we'll sit there and do our crypto map. Crypto map. And then again, let me just get this here get it, so I get it exact. I'll just paste it and then we'll hit enter and then in now you can see it was turned on we'll do a show run real quick to validate that information now let's val uh, see if we have any uh, uh, established connections yet when we issue we'll use the show CR1 crypto sessions and now you'll notice that oh, Bell Sessions right here and right now it's down peer in act in IPsec flow okay so let's try and see if this is gonna work so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ping my distant side so let's see uh, that host over there so I get a reply now let's go in here and see if a tunnel was established All right status says it's down now, let's go in here and show crypt See what the rest of this is here. Oh, unrecognizable command. So let's go in here and show crypto. In here, let's see our sessions. Now, what I'd like to do is let's try and ping the distant host here and see if it's going to work. All right, we see a ping and it is successfully going through. Now I'll go on router A and I'll issue the show crypto sessions to verify that my connection is up. As you can see here, that this session is up and active and we got all of our configurations correct. All right, at this time I would write my configurations on both devices and um, periodically check to make sure that uh, I uh, 
that my settings are right now I'd like to thank you for viewing this video and hope you come back again in the future and um, view my training videos thank you and have a great day